from Seattle, Washington, it's theCUBE, covering AWS Imagine, nonprofit. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in downtown Seattle, Washington, actually right on the waterfront. It has been a spectacular visit here for the last couple of days. And we're back, back in Seattle for AWS Imagine. We were here a couple weeks ago for AWS Imagine Education. This is a different version of the conference, really focused around government and nonprofits. And we're really excited to kick off our day with a guy coming right off the keynote who's running this. He's Dave Levy. He's the Vice President for US Government and Nonprofit for AWS. Dave, great to see you and uh, congrats on the keynote. Thank you. Thanks for having me too. We're really excited. Absolutely. So, I, I, as you're talking about, you know, kind of mission and purpose, and as I'm doing my homework for some of the topics we're going to cover today, these are big problems. And I couldn't, I couldn't help but think of a famous quote from uh, from Jeff Hammerbacker from years ago, who said, "The greatest minds of my generation are thinking about how to make us click ads." And I'm so happy and refreshed to be here with you and your team to be working on much bigger problems. Yeah, well thank you. Yeah, we're very excited. We're, we're thrilled with all the, the customers here, all the nonprofits, all the non-governmental organizations, all of our partners. It's just very exciting and uh, there are a lot of big challenges out there and we're, we're happy to be a part of it. So it's our first time here, but you guys have been doing this show, I believe this is the fourth it's year. fourth year, Give yeah. Give us a little background on the nonprofit sector at AWS. How did yeah. you get involved, you know, kind of what's your mission and some, yeah. of the, some of the numbers behind? Well, it's one of the most exciting part of our businesses in the worldwide public sector. And, you know, we have tens of thousands of customers in the nonprofit sector, uh, and they are doing all sorts of um, wonderful things uh, in terms of their mission, and we're trying to help them deliver on their mission with our technology. So you see everything from uh, hosting websites to doing back office functions in the cloud, um, you know, uh, running research and donor platforms, and so it's just a very exciting time, I think, and nonprofit missions are accelerating, and we're, we're helping them do that. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite a different <laughs> a different mission than you know, selling books or, or, or selling services or selling infrastructure when you have this real focus. The yeah. impact of some of these organizations is huge. We're going to talk to someone involved in human trafficking, 25 million people yeah. uh, involved in this yeah. problem. So these are really big problems that you guys are helping out with. They're huge problems, and you know, at Amazon, we really identify with missionaries uh, we want uh, our partners and our customers uh, to be able to be empowered to deliver on their mission. We feel like we're missionaries and we're builders at Amazon, so this is a really good fit for us uh, to work with nonprofits all over the world. And how did you get involved? You know, yeah. we were here. We were here a couple weeks ago. Talked to Andrew Coe, who'd grow on. You know, he runs EDU. He'd grown up in tech, mm -hmm. and then one of his kids. Uh, had an issue that drove yeah. him into the education. What's what's your kind of mission story? Well, you know, on a on a personal level, I'm just passionate about this space. There's so much opportunity. It's everything from um, solving challenges around heart disease to uh, research for cancer, uh, patient care, uh, to human trafficking. So all of those things resonate. It touches all of our lives, and um, we're you know I'm thrilled to to be able to contribute, and uh, I've got a fantastic team. Uh, and we've got amazing customers. Right, yeah. it's great. It, do a little homework on you. Um, yeah. You're a pretty good, uh, interesting guy too, but you referenced something that I thought was really powerful in, in somebody interviewing you. You talked about practice, 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 sure. practice as a sure. person. And you you invoked the Mara's Law, which yeah. I'd never heard for a person, which is, you know, we tend to overestimate what we can do in the short term, but we can but we underestimate what we can do in the long term. And as as these people are focused on these giant missions, sure. the long term impacts can be gargantuan. Yeah, I think so. I mean, look, we're you, like you said, we're tackling some huge problems out there. Huge difficult problems, uh, migrations, um, uh, diseases, uh, and you know, um, it takes, a, it takes a while to get these things done, and, and when you look back on a 10-year horizon, you can really accomplish a lot. So we like to set big, bold, audacious, audacious goals at Amazon. We like to think big, and we want to encourage our, our customers to think big along with us, and we'll support them uh, to, to go on this journey. Yeah. Um, and it may take some time, but um, I'm confident we can solve a lot of the big problems out there. But it's funny, there's a lot of st uh, stuff in social now where a lot of people don't think big enough, and, and yeah. you are very specific 
specific in your keynote. You had you had three real significant ch kind of challenges. Go from big ideas to impact. Yeah. Um, learn and be curious and dive deep because, like you said, these are not these are not simple problems, right? Yeah. These aren't just going to go away. But you really need to spend the time to get into it. And I, I think what's what's cool about Amazon and your in your fanatical customer focus to apply that type of, of a framework, that type of a way to go to market into the nonprofit area really kind of gives you a unique uh, point of view. I hope so, and you know, we're doing a lot of really cool things here at the conference. We've got a working backwards session, and you know, one of the things about working backwards, it's really, it's really interesting is, is the, the, the customer is at the center of that, and it all starts with the customer. I can't tell you how many times I've been in a meeting at Amazon where somebody has said, you know, wait a second, um, this is what we heard these customers say, this is what we heard about their mission, and it's all about what customers want. So um, we're really excited that um, cust you know, our customers here and our nonprofits here are gonna be going through some of those sessions and, and hopefully we can provide a little uh, innovation engine for them uh, by applying Amazon processes right. to it. Yeah. It's for the people that aren't familiar, the working backwards, if I'm hearing you right, is where it's the Amazon practice where you actually write the press release for when you're finished and then work backwards, so you stay focused on those on those really core objectives. Yeah, that's right. It's it's start with your end state in mind and work backwards from there. And um, it starts with a press release, and 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 certainly those are are fun to write because you want to know what you're going to be delivering and how you're going to be delivering it, and frankly, how your customers and how your stakeholders will be responding. So it's a really great exercise. Helps you focus on the mission and uh, and sets up the stage for delivery. Yeah. In the future. It's funny. I think one of the greatest and, and easy. Simple examples of that is the Amazon Go store. Yeah. And I've heard lots yeah. of stores. I've been it now a couple times up here in San Francisco. And, and the story that, that I've heard, maybe you know if it's true or not, is that you know when they tried to implement it at first, they had a lot of more departments. And unfortunately, it introduced lines, not necessarily a checkout, but other places in the store. And with that single focus mission of, the, yeah. of no lines, cut back the SKUs, cut back the selection. And so when I went in it in San Francisco the other day and it gave me my little time in the store, yeah. it's like the old yeah. kind of Google search results, it was I think in a minute and 19 to go in, grab a quick lunch and then get back on my way. Yeah. So really laser focused on a specific objective. Yeah, and you know, that's the, the, the point of the working backwards process. It's all about what customers want and uh, you can refine that and continue to refine that and you get feedback and you're able to answer those questions and solve those difficult problems. That's great. Well, Dave, thanks for uh, for inviting us here for the first sure. time. Again, congrats yeah. on the keynote, and we look forward to, uh, again, a bunch of really important work that your customers and your team are working on and learning more about those stories. Thanks, we're thrilled, very <laughs> thrilled. All right, awesome. he's Dave, I'm Jeff. You're watching theCUBE. We're in Seattle at the AWS Imagine nonprofit. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.